Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and we are a minimalist family who is living big with less. Right now, we are in the middle of school holidays. So our kids are on a two week break and so my life has been crazy busy, but I did want to film this short video for you where if I'm in a season of busyness, these are five little things, the small changes that I do every single day to make sure I can stay on top of things in my home and leave it feeling calm at the end of the day so that we still love to be here even when we've got so much going on. So if you are out there feeling a little bit overwhelmed, not sure where to start or what things you can do to put in place to make your days run a little bit smoother, this is the video for you. I know you guys probably already know this, but I think that making your bed at the beginning of the day just sets such a great tone for your home. And I highly recommend if this is something you struggle to do, if it's a routine that you've tried in the past but struggled to keep up with, is really streamline making your bed. Make it super easy and quick for it to happen. Get rid of excess pillows if they're stopping you from just getting that job done and you will feel so much better for it. kitchen is anything like mine it is the heart of the home it is where we are most of the time with kids I'm constantly making snacks and different meals so I really strive to make my kitchen a priority and I find that if the kitchen is clean if we have guests come everything else can be tidied up really quickly and so I also like to go the extra mile in my kitchen I like to wipe things down really well and make sure that things are really well organized so that cleaning and organizing is really quick and simple but I also just keep it to a really high standard so that when we come in to cook again we're starting with a fresh slate It's a remedy, a remedy joke that there is a little magnet in our kitchen bench which is just a stuff puller where all this clutter just ends up on my kitchen bench so I try and make sure that at least once a day I'm just going through and getting things back into their home on this particular day I was also cleaning off some decor from Easter which can go away now but if I make that a priority each and every day it just stops it from piling up and becoming overwhelming A 
good laundry routine is absolutely critical to me keeping on top of a clean and tidy house. And so whatever that looks like for you, whatever works, if it's every other day or if it's like me and you do a couple of loads each day, I would suggest having a really good routine that you stick to each and every week and that you stay on top of those clothes. I know from your comments and also from the clients I've worked with that clothes is one of the hardest things to manage. And when I say a good routine, make sure that your routine includes getting those clothes dry, getting them folded and put away. And that way you're not letting them sit somewhere clean and your family can't get to them. They're getting put away and they'll leave your house feeling crisp and clear. Some of you already know but I have had quite a few health struggles and still struggle with some chronic illness and so these five things are the five things that when I'm sick are my defaults that I try and get to and if I'm feeling unwell even if I can't get to anything else if I can get these five things done I know that we'll keep our head above water. Especially if you have pets or children, I highly recommend vacuuming something every day. So for me, a little trick I use is I have a Dyson cordless vacuum and I will just vacuum as much as I can before the battery runs out. Usually I can get through quite a few rooms or all of our tiled area on one battery and then I stay on top of it and the floors stay clean and I'm hitting all the floors regularly each each week. My fifth tip is keep your entryway clean and that can look like us if you go through your garage, wherever you enter your house primarily or if it's your front door or your mud room, I just find this is where the stuff seems to collect because we all come in and dump all of our stuff and if I can keep this area clean, it's less stuff coming into the house that doesn't belong, we're clean and organized and when we're trying to leave the house it just makes that process so much faster. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear down in the comments below what are the things that you guys do to keep your homes running smoothly. I know that that will look really different for everyone, so I can't wait to hear from you down there. If you are new here, we would love to have you subscribe and join our YouTube family. Here are some other videos I think you might like, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.